Hey everybody, my friends. Just want to let you guys know 91% of people will ignore this in 2021 and it will disrupt the industry. It's already disrupted the industry. It'll continue to. It's Airbnb has continued to absolutely crush all the hotels and everything. And actually COVID is actually helping Airbnbs to be the, a disrupting more of the industry. So why? Because hotels, they have too many people, right? They have too many thousands, thousands of people in, in there. So it's very risky to be in a hotel and you know live so close to so many people so that's why a lot of people has been booking airbnb and it's actually skyrocket ever since covid you know and the way you can profit from that is actually subletting subletting is what i do for a, basically you know how to get i get my freedom basically you rent a home you furnish it and then you list it on airbnb and then you double you you make I mean, the price on there per room per night is about double the daily rate if it's vacant. So let's say in America, an average uh, where I'm at about 1700 a home, right? Uh, to rent out vacant. Furnish it, post an Airbnb, you can rent it out, no kidding, 3400 a month, okay? So yes, you got to pay utilities and all of that, about 400 you factor in about 10% vacancy, so about 340. So, you know, if you do the math, you're still profiting at least 500 to 1200, you know, but usually on average about 900 to 1000. 900 to 1000 a month. Just, just by doing Airbnb subletting, arbitrage. It's the new zero money down real, real estate. Right, it's a new zero money down real estate. It doesn't get much better than that, where you can just go rent a home, furnish it, list on Airbnb, and make a ton of money. Okay, so the most important thing, cash is not king. Cash flow is king. So let me ask you this: How much freedom do you have if you have a bunch of cash, but it's tied up in real estate or in whatever, and you have no cash flow coming in? You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. No freedom, right? Now, imagine if you have like 10,000, 20,000 a month coming in every single month like that, like clockwork. Does it matter how much your net worth is? I mean, to, to a degree, yes, but it doesn't really affect your lifestyle. I mean, you know, all we are after is, most of us, according to research, all, all we need is three things. Number one, enough money to have freedom, have freedom, lifestyle, to do whatever we want to do. Number two is doing the work that we love. Number three is mixed with people that are positive, upbeat, and creative, right? So in order to do all of that, you got to get freedom. You got to get cash flow. Cash flow is king, guys, not cash. So what I'm sharing with you is so important. And I'm, I'm glad somebody shared with me before it changed my life. And that's why I'm doing this to share this with you. So don't take it lightly at all. This really changed my life to become from a corporate slave to being, you know, a freedom fighter. Of entrepreneur leader you know so the the key here there is a short window of opportunities right now because a lot of people find this out and a lot of people are doing it so like everything is gonna be saturated but not now it still is because Airbnb is still in its infancy it's only been around for really a few years and it's disrupted the entire industry the entire world right so if you just sublet it and like, like me, for example, I was working as a pharmacist full time, you know, no freedom. It was sucks. I had a life of basically like corporate slavery, really. Um, like a lot of people with jobs, right? Uh, I'm sorry, but it, it is what it is. Um, I experienced it all my life. So in one year, I had scaled to 20 Airbnbs and make six figure income and quit my job, have freedom for life, right? So, I mean, it can be done. It definitely can, it's even if you are working full time. It doesn't take much time to do it, really. You know, and once it's set up, it's just monthly income, monthly income every single month. You know, each home making me about 500 to sometimes 1500 a month, you know, um, and it's great. 
So you do the math. How many of that do you need to get your freedom? If you're making 5,000 a month, you only need like five, six, you know, homes. And then you can, you know, I mean, you can do that within a few months, right? I mean, if you're making more than that, like, you know, you know, six feet or whatever, it might take you a year, you know, like, like me or something, you know, but it can be done. It's, and it's not that hard. It really isn't. Uh, but, you know, you need somebody as a mentor to guide you and teach you. Because actually in the beginning it was hard because I trying to, I, I, I didn't have anybody. It was totally a new idea. Nobody had any experience. I was trying to figure it out on my own and just do it. And it was actually pretty tough in the beginning. But once you like do the number fifth, number six, you get kind of the hang of it, you know. And after number 20, you're like, oh, yeah, I got this, you know. So now I basically, you know, trying to help as many people as possible. Um, I put together an online course, you know, to help people. But uh, I just want to share that with you, you know, to really see if it can help change your life because it changed my life. So, I mean, freedom is the most important thing in life, you know. I mean, it doesn't get much sweeter than that, you know. Uh, most important thing is I can get to spend time, take care of my loved ones and family. Like today is a Friday and, uh, you know, I took just a day off, take my mom to the doctors all day and just take care of her, you know, spend time with her because, you know, I have freedom, right? And then, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I just go work out in the morning until like 10 or whatever. It doesn't matter, right? Because I have freedom. Because freedom is the most important thing in life. So... Yeah, so, you know, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. And uh, i see if I can help you. Uh, if, I'm pretty sure this this is pretty much what I've been doing for a while. And there's not that many people who has that many listings on Airbnb that are doing what I do. Um, so, you know, I'm pretty sure that I can help you in this arena. I don't know about the other arena, but this one, I can definitely help you. So, just hit me up. Um, I did put together a free training on the link there. Uh, you want to click on that, rest up for free training where I share with you like three secrets of this business and how it can provide you the freedom that you always wanted for and how it is like a, a, a game changer, a disruption in the industry. Because if you think about it, the whole world that we are doing things is so different now because, you know, before you have to save a bunch of money, buy a bunch of real estate, not a bunch, you might, you might buy the one or two house in your whole life is renting and then you know you don't have any cash flow from it because you who, who's in here a landlord comment down below you know who's in here a landlord you have like literally no cash flow after you pay up mortgages and everything you might have 200 bucks a month you know whereas when you subletting on airbnb you can make a thousand a month that's like five times the cash flow guys i want you to think about that five times the cash flow you know versus doing the traditional way and you don't have to own any real estate either now it's good if you own some real estate if you have money to buy i highly recommend buying some properties and renting it out because i'm i'm actually a realtor too and i help my clients to buy homes rent it out on airbnb managed for them you know and they're making like five times more cash flow than what they had before because if you do a traditional way again you only make like 200 a month you know even that you know, even if that right but if you're doing it on Airbnb, you can make a thousand a month. So why not five times the cash flow? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to do it the old way. Think about this. Airbnb is the biggest like hospitality company in the world. They don't own any uh, real estate. They don't own any hotels. They don't own any real estate, but yet they are number one. Uber is the number one, like, you know, taxi cab company. They don't own any cars. Get that, okay? And then Amazon is the biggest, you know, online retailer, but they don't really own any physical products. I mean, you know, that's, <laughs> it's just blow people's mind, right? But some people just don't get it and some people just don't see it. This is the future. This is the now, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole share economy is, is different than the way we used to do things. So, you know, either get on with it or get stuck. You know, I, I don't want you guys to miss out on this probably one of the greatest opportunities right now uh, if within the next few years, you know, it's window opportunity. If you take advantage of it, I guarantee you can get your freedom and then you can leverage it and just keep growing on that and, and live the life of your dreams. So with that, love you, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.